Did you recently receive any email from Microsoft, Hotmail or Outlook to upgrade your inbox? Regardless of whether or not you did, you should watch carefully because here is a classic example of how the fissures get to you. In the last couple of weeks, I've received several emails from the quote-unquote MSN team asking me to upgrade my inbox. One of them even said it was my last chance to do so. Now sometimes companies like Hotmail or Gmail will send you emails that are very similar to this, requiring a one-click upgrade or try their new interface or whatever, and these campaigns may be very closely linked to them temporally. So it's easy to fall for scams like this and give away your mail credentials. So how does that happen? Without closer inspection, this email looks uh, quite legitimate. This is exactly how a Surface-related email would probably look like. However, if you look closely at the address, msn underscore members at outlook.com, this looks kind of fishy. But again, not fishy enough to warrant suspicion. And trust me, I almost fell for this scam. And I don't claim to be the smartest person on the planet, but I'd like to think that making PC security videos for years would have prepared me for this. But once again, it's a great example of how regardless of how much you know, we as humans are prone to make mistakes. So let's see what happens when you actually make the mistake of clicking on the upgrade button. At first, once again, it's going to seem very legitimate. It looks like a Microsoft page. It's asking you to sign in. But if you look closely, uh-oh, we have SSL issues here. And this is certainly not the Outlook sign-in link. But these are things that can easily be overlooked when you're presented with a page like this. So you go ahead and provide your email address. Since I'm pretty sure somebody will be collecting the details I put in here, let's have some fun with it. Once you click next, as you would expect, it asks you for your password. And I'm going to type I ain't falling for this shit. Yeah, that's about right. And I'm sure I want to stay signed in. And now you click on sign in. And guess what happens? It actually redirects you to the real Outlook.com website. Bam! And you think that actually worked. But no. A big no. What really happened is that the phishing website captured your details and then just forwarded you to the Outlook mail website. And now they have your login credentials. That's how easy it is to have your email account information stolen. And something like that can have serious repercussions. Another great example of why you need to stay informed. Because none of the spam filters picked this up. No AV company blocked the website. It's not yet blocked, even after days of such emails going around, much less on the day it was first released. So watch out for this crap and don't fall for it. It's very easy to do so. We all can make mistakes. And that's exactly what these crooks are waiting for. Even if you have five antivirus programs, you could still get totally screwed up by something like this. So please, be careful. And if you did fall for something similar in the past, make sure you change your password as soon as you realize you might get away with it. I hope you found this video useful. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.